two-year-old trotting fillies lining up. And here they come. They're off and trotting far outside Coochie. Used aggressively by J.D. Finn Coochie going right to the top. A length and a quarter over Heather Chelsea. Then a gap of three to Reggae Ruby. Coming away in third, a length and a half back to Cardinal Lexi. Racing in fourth on the inside. It's lonely no more and now taking back is Fox Valley Heroine as they trot into the first turn. Coochie, the favorite, on top by two and a half over Heather Chelsea. Three lengths back to Reggae Ruby, racing in third. Cardinal Lexi in fourth. Two lengths back to Lonely No More. Your trailer is Fox Valley Heroine. They're off the quarter, 30 and four. They trot off the back stretch. Your leader is Coochie, a length and a quarter. Heather Chelsea, right there in second. On the outside, moving up, here comes Cardinal Lexi for Andy Miller. On the inside, Reggae Ruby racing in fourth. Lonely No More is fifth. Now driving from last is Fox Valley Heroine approaching the half from the outside. Cardinal Lexi takes command. A length and a quarter over Coochie. Cardinal Lexi takes him by the half. 103 and four. Cardinal Lexi into the far turn by two over Coochie. On the outside, Fox Valley Heroine grinding out a tough first over trip. Heather Chelsea. Racing on the inside, fourth, two lengths back to Reggae Ruby, and then another length and a half back to Lonely No More. They come to the corner, Cardinal Lexi leads the way, Fox Valley Heroine on the outside. Right there in the pocket is Coochie as they turn for home. Cardinal Lexi leads the way by two and a quarter, approaching three quarters. Now they're off three quarters, 135 and one. Cardinal Lexi leads, here comes Coochie again. On the inside, it's Cardinal Lexi. On the outside, here comes Coochie and J.D. Finn. Dropping back is Fox Valley Heroine an eighth of a mile out. Coochie now takes command. It's Coochie on the outside, drawing off. Cardinal Lexi trying to come back. Coochie now trots out to the wire. It's Coochie in front, a length over Cardinal Lexi. Fox Valley Heroine third in 203 and four. They're off. Good start. Sandtown around the far outside. In between horses. Here's end sweep. Seal My Lips is there. And down along the rail, Bongiorno Empire left well. End sweep to the top. A length for Morgan. Seal My Lips racing in second. Bongiorno Empire is away in third. Sandtowner looks to tuck in fourth as they race into the turn. Closed case. Came away fifth. And behind him is BJ Pick. Do you, I do. Sammy R. Willoughby Ripplematic is on the move. Oh, Dominator is at the end. They're off the quarter. 30 seconds. They race up the back stretch. Your leader is end sweep a length and a quarter. Seal my lips right there in second. Bongiorno Empire racing in third. Now moving up. Here comes Dale Heitman. Close case moving three wide is Ripple Matic. It's a battle for the lead into the three eighths. In between horses, closed case on the far outside. It's Ripple Matic. They're side by side and sweep still right there. Along the inside in third, do you I do left uncovered out there fourth on the inside. Seal my lips racing fifth. Bongiorno Empire BJ pick. They're off the half a minute two fifths around the far turn. Ripple Matic kicks in, opens up the lead by five with three eighths to go. It's Ripple Matic now by six. Closed case racing in second. Do you I do on the outside third along the rail. It's end sweep. Then come seal my lips Bongiorno Empire BJ pick sand towner moving up oh dominator three quarters 128 and four inside the quarter pole ripple matic leads by six closed case Racing in second, end sweep, comes on again third. Seal my lips, racing in fourth, an eighth of a mile to go. Ripple Matic is tiring. Here comes end sweep, now a 16th. It's Ripple Matic, end sweep, trying to get at him. Ripple Matic has just enough left to get there, wins it by two and a quarter over end sweep. Close case third in 159 and three.
nine lining up and approaching the start. Picking up speed. Here they come. They're off. Ideal count used aggressively by Miller going right to the lead. Ideal count leads the way under the wire the first time on the inside. Coming away is Mike Tia. Dropping in third, Smoky Rain. A length back to Armbro Orthodox. Racing in fourth. A length and a half back to the Roan Gelding. Roll with me, Henry. Another two back to Park Lane Rocket. A length to put in surprise as they race around the turn. Rollerblade. And your trailer is Willie Oates. They're off the turn. And by the quarter, it's ideal count on top by three. Opening quarter, 29 and four. Ideal Count leads the way as they race up the backstretch. Ah, the move is Armbro Orthodox. Here's Armbro Orthodox. Quickly up to challenge and now take command. It's Armbro Orthodox, your new leader of length. Over Ideal Count, a length and a half back to Mitea. Racing in third, two lengths back to Smoky Rain. In fourth, another gap of two to Park Lane Rocket. Put in surprise on the outside, looking for cover. Roll with me, Henry. Saves ground along the inside. Rollerblade and Willie Oates. They're off the half, 59 seconds. Around the far turn, Armbro Orthodox now leads by five with three-eighths to go. It's Armbro Orthodox by four ideal count. Coming back along the inside, Mitea is racing in third. Smoky Rain in fourth around the turn. They're in the stretch. Armbro Orthodox leads the way. They're by three quarters, 129, 30 second, third quarter for Armbro Orthodox. He's under attack. Armbro Orthodox shortening stride. Here comes Mitea on the outside. An eighth of a mile to go, Armbro Orthodox. Chuck going to work on the outside. Here's Mike Tia and DeSomer. And now Mike Tia takes the lead with a 16th out. It's Mike Tia now in deep stretch. Mike Tia on the outside. Getting up over Armbro Orthodox. Smoky Rain third, 158 and 3. Two year old Phillies lining up. They're at the top of the stretch. All set for a start. Here they come. They're away and trotting on the far outside. Savannah Lee left well. Fox Valley Maiden is there. On the inside, moving out, Bayou Bianca. Bayou Bianca to the top, a length. On the inside, racing in second, Goosey Lucy. Up on the rim is Fox Valley made it. Right in behind her is entry mate, Savannah Lee, as they're double decked into the first turn. On the inside, racing in fifth is Cooper's Chapel. A length and a half back to Jade. Your trailer is BG's Jesse. They race by the quarter in 30 and 3. Up top, your leader is Bayou Bianca by two and a quarter. Goosey Lucy trots in second. Savannah Lee, Fox Valley Maiden make that. On the outside, parked in third. Cooper's Chapel racing in fourth. Then a gap of three to Savannah Lee. Racing in fifth. A length and a half back to Jade. Your trailer, BG's Jesse approaching the half. It's Bayou Bianca on top. Three parts of length now right alongside Fox Valley Maiden. They're off the half. A minute and three-fifths. Bayou Bianca keeps three parts of a length lead over Fox Valley Maiden. Goosey Lucy getting the trip in third on the outside. Moving up with cover is Cooper Chapel Around the far turn now three-eighths to go. Bayou Bianca leads the way. On the outside, it's Fox Valley Maiden. She won't go away. She's still there after a very difficult trip. Goosey Lucy on the inside, racing in third. Now they're in the stretch. Bayou Bianca leads three parts of a length. Fox Valley Maiden, another move. She's coming on again. Three quarters, 132 and three. Bayou Bianca with three sixteenths to go on a short lead. 
Fox Valley Maiden racing in second on the inside. Goosey Lucy. Here comes Savannah Lee. Savannah Lee goes right on by. Now with a 16th to go. It's Savannah Lee in command. Goosey Lucy on the inside. Bayou Bianca going to big heat. Savannah Lee in front. 2.03 the time for the mile. Close for a second between Bayou Bianca and Goosey Lucy. Top of the stretch, field of seven. Taking their positions in behind the starting gate. Here they come. They're off. Fabulous finale in the middle of the track. Left. On the outside, Count Legacy. In between horses, Sports Master Joey. And on the inside, Fudge Knuckle. Three deep under the wire for the first time. On the inside, it's Fudge Knuckle. On the outside, here's Fabulous Finale. And Tom Harmer taking back off that battle is Sports Master Joey as he tucks in third. Midway around the turn. A length back to High Kamar. Coming away fourth, Count Legacy. In fifth, Fox Valley Jenkins unhurried. At this point, your trailer... As they race by the quarter is Temerity. The opening quarter, 28 seconds. They race up the backstretch. Fudge Knuckle leads the way a length over Fabulous Finale. Moving up with a rush. High Kamark on the inside. Sports Master Joey. Quickly into the action is Fox Valley Jenkins and Tony Morgan. Followed up closely by Count Legacy Temerity. Is still at the end. They race for the half. High Kamark hard pressed to make the lead and now does. They're off the half. 58 and 1, it's High Kamark. Your new leader, a length, Fudge Knuckle on the outside. Fox Valley Jenkins being raided by Morgan and moving forward quickly with 3 eighths to go now. Fox Valley Jenkins on the outside draws off, leads a length. As they come to the top of the stretch, Fox Valley Jenkins now by two. Fudge Knuckle is on the move again. High Kamark racing in third. Fabulous Finale in four, three quarters, 127 and 3. Fox Valley Jenkins leads the way in mid-stretch. Fox Valley Jenkins by two. Fudge Knuckle trying to come on in second. Count Legacy gathering up momentum. Third, Fabulous Finale racing in fourth. A late move, Sports Master Joey. A 16th to go. Fox Valley Jenkins has this one. Fox Valley Jenkins well in command of this. Fox Valley Jenkins an easy winner. Fast closing, Count Legacy. Second, Fudge Knuckle. Third, one fifty six and 3 All right, there's a little less than 11 minutes to post. Top of the stretch. Lining up, picking up speed. Here they come. They're away in pacing. Frankie's image. Left hard along with Gallant Gimble on the inside, moving through Silent Carey. Here's Gallant Gimble and Tony Morgan. Three parts of a length, Silent Carey on the inside. Racing in second, moving up for position is Native Scooter. Coming away fourth, Frankie's Image, then a gap of four to Viv Cisco Kid. Another two lengths back to AJ's Majesty. They race around the turn. Then comes Tomahawk Viking, the gray. Johnny Heartbreak trails. They're off the quarter. A quick 27-3. and three. Silent Carey leads the way by to Gallant Gimble. Right in behind second. Frankie's image is third. A length and a half back to Native Scooter. Racing in fourth. And now angling off the rail is Native Scooter. Following up that live cover, Viv Cisco Kid. AJ's Majesty is on the move as the second tier takes form. Tomahawk Viking and Johnny Heartbreak approaching the half. Silent Carey. On the inside, on the outside, it's Native Scooter. 57-3, 32nd quarter. Silent Carey has the lead. Three parts of a length. On the outside, it's Native Scooter. Gallant Gimble is right there in the pocket. Moving up with cover, Frankie's image. Tomahawk Viking comes through on the inside. Viv Cisco Kid losing ground. On the outside, moving three wide is AJ's Majesty. Johnny Heartbreak still about 10 off the lead with a quarter of a mile to go. Approaching three quarters. Now they're in the stretch. Silent Carey leads the way on the outside. Native Scooter 
Another move at the leader. He won't go away. He's coming on again. Three quarters. 127 and one. And now Native Scooter in mid stretch takes the lead. Silent Carry losing ground. Gallant Gimbal looks to shake loose. Here comes Viv Cisco Kid. It's Native Scooter on the outside. Viv Cisco Kid. Native Scooter digs down. Viv Cisco Kid. One final surge. Native Scooter in front over Viv Cisco Kid. 156 and three. Top of the stretch. Approaching the start. Here they come. They're away in pacing. Getting off a tad slow was incredible happy. And now in the middle of the track. It's coming to town, showing early speed, coming to town, takes command of the field, a length and a quarter, go nurse, came away in second, a length back, two, West Broadway, racing in third, a length and a half back to Herman Frisco, racing in fourth, two back to Broadway Momentum. In fifth, a length and a half back to Panther Paws, racing in sixth and seventh is between two thieves, going country, coming on Mandy Mania, your trailer after the slow start, incredible happy, they're off the quarter, 28 and four. Now driving from the pocket, Go Nurse with an early and aggressive move. Go Nurse takes the track away from coming to town. West Broadway is right there with the leaders in third. Broadway momentum attacks for Terry Tucker. On the inside, it's Herman Frisco. Between two thieves moves up in the second tier. On the inside, Panther Paws, Mandy Mania, incredible happy. Go in country, they're off the half. 58 and 3. Go Nurse on the inside. On the outside, it's Broadway Momentum. He now pulls up even around the far turn. Coming to town is right there in the pocket. Third, West Broadway. Looming boldly for Dean McGee. Second over in fourth. And right in behind him, here comes Between Two Thieves. Racing a bit wide out there was Mandy Mania. Herman Frisco now splits horses. They're in the stretch. Go Nurse leads Broadway Momentum. Another move at the leader, Broadway Momentum. Takes command, three quarters, 129 and two. Three sixteenths to go. It's Broadway momentum on the outside. On the inside, Pinsky getting after Go Nurse. He has to do more. Here comes West Broadway and Dean McGee. Final yards, Broadway momentum. Now drawing off West Broadway. It's Broadway momentum. An easy winner. Close for a second, West Broadway. Maybe over Go Nurse in 157-4. There's your results for race seven as we move to race eight, exacta trifecta, and pick three. Fields off the turn. Ten pacers lining up. Here they come. They're off. Far outside, King's Cub left hard. In between horses, here's Curl Up into Soma. On the inside, it's Giant Surfer. King's Cub on a short lead. Curl Up. On the inside, racing in second. Easy Hanover now. Gains third. Who's up on the rim? Coming away fourth is Giant Surfer. French Sabra. Right in behind him, then Long and Strong. Racing wide around the turn is Park Lane's Beach Boy. On the inside, Tornado R. And comes Dale Heitman in Superior Society, your trailer. Off the quarters, Henry's pal, 28-3. They're spread out. They race up the backstretch, King's Cub. Three parts of a length, easy Hanover. Trying to take the lead away from him. On the inside, curl up, racing in third. Giant surfer on the outside, moving up in fourth. French Sabra along the inside. Racing in fifth. Long and strong. Park Lane's Beach Boy, Tornado R, Superior Society, a half mile to go, still about 12 off the top. Then Henry's pal, they're off the half, 58 seconds. They race around the far turn, it's still King's Cub on top. On the outside, now challenging, a Giant Surfer now with three eighths to go. They're midway around the far turn. Giant Surfer takes command, a length and a quarter King's Cub. Racing in second, easy Hanover. 
in third on the inside racing in fourth is curl up inside the quarter pole giant surfer leads the way it's giant surfer by two now by a length on the outside moving up here comes easy hanover again easy hanover going to big heat easy hanover in mid stretch leads here comes tornado r Further out, Superior Society gathering up momentum. And now Tornado R to the top. It's Tornado R. Superior Society trying to get at him. Tornado R on the inside. French Sabra. Superior Society. Tornado R in front. Close for a second. French Sabra. Then another photo for third in 159 and 1. There's your eighth race results on the screen. Exact and try. Fields in the straightaway. Field of nine lining up and approaching the start. Here they come. They're off, far outside, Elvis firing out for the lead. In between horses is Jargo on the inside coming away well. I'm a Richmeister, Elvis to the top. It's Elvis under the wire first, a length and a quarter. Jargo racing in second. I'm a Richmeister racing in third. Fox Valley Arsenic is away in fourth, two lengths back to Canbury's. Racing in fifth and sixth around the turn is Silky Intrusion. Followed up by Downtown Special, your two trailers. JJ's handsome man in credentials. They're off the quarter. 29 and 3. Elvis on top. 31 to 1. Long shot. In command of the fractions. Here comes Fox Valley Arsenic. Fox Valley Arsenic. Now rolls on by. Takes the lead. Elvis is back to second. Jargo racing in third. I'm a rich Meister is off the pylons for Heitman. Picking up live cover is Silky Intrusion. On the inside, it's Canbury's downtown special. JJ's handsome man and credentials. They're off the half. 58 and 4. They race into the far turn. Fox Valley Arsenic takes command. It's Fox Valley Arsenic a tight length over Alvis. On the inside, Jargo. Three lengths off the lead in third. Dropping back after a very tough trip is I'm a Rich Meister. And now off stride, I'm a Rich Meister. Confusion in the wear. Racing wide is credentials as they enter the stretch. Fox Valley Arsenic leads by two, three quarters. 127 and four. Down the stretch. Fox Valley Arsenic leads. Alvis racing in second. Jargo in third. Moving up in fourth. Canbury's Silky Intrusion. Gathering up momentum on the inside. In deep stretch. Fox Valley Arsenic leads. Alvis trying to get at him. Can't get any closer. Fox Valley Arsenic. An easy winner for Harmer. Alvis second. Close for third. 155 and four. Results are on your screen as we go to race 10. $2 exacta, the $2 trifecta. Phillies and mares off the turn and lining up for the 10th race. Here they come. They're off. Far outside, Lady Dar. Used aggressively early on by Dean McGee. In between horses, moving right with her is Pipe Creek Cammy. A length and a half back to Festino Hanover. Racing in third. Two back to Shira. In fourth, another gap of two and a half to Giggle Girl. Racing in fifth. Three lengths back to Yankee Threshold. Your trailer is Miss Falcon Bowl. Midway around the turn. And approaching the opening quarter, Lady Dar on top by two and a quarter. Timed in 28 seconds flat. Lady Dar leads by three. Pipe Creek Cami racing in second. Festino Hanover unhurried third. Shira on the inside moving up is Giggle Girl. Then a gap of six to Yankee Threshold. Miss Falcon Bowl trails. A race for the half. Lady Dar on top in driving. Leads a length and a quarter. Giggle Girl first up on the outside. Pipe Creek Cami right there in third. Festino Hanover. Now smartly off the rail for Heitman. She's on the move off the half, 57-2. and two. 
29-2 second quarter from the outside. Giggle Girl takes command. Three-eighths to go, it's Giggle Girl. A length on the outside, here comes Festino Hanover. Racing in third is Lady Dollar. Pipe Creek Cammy is on the move. Yankee Threshold, Shira and Miss Falcon Bowl. They're in the stretch and by three quarters. 126 and two. Giggle Girl on the inside. On the outside, it's Festino Hanover. These two strides apart. Giggle Girl digs down. Morgan urging her on. She responds. Festino Hanover on the outside. Heitman asking for more. She needs it. Down the stretch. Giggle Girl. Festino Hanover trying to come out a late move by. Miss Falcon Bowl. Giggle Girl on the inside. Holding off Festino Hanover in a mild upset. Miss Falcon Bowl up for third. 156-1. There's your results for race 10 as we go to race 11, the first half of our late $2 daily double, also exacto wagering. And remember, the 12th race and... Top of the stretch. Picking up speed. Here they come. They're off in the middle of the track. It's Lake Hills Ivy going for the lead. On the inside, Miss Fussy Smith moves right with her. Lake Hills Ivy now takes command. A length over Miss Fussy Smith. A length and a half back to Spicy Mohawk racing third. Coming away fourth, Bibbidi Boppity Boo. A length and a half back to Sister Luck. Then comes Tenderhearted and Andy Miller. Lake Hills Alexis reserved early on as they race off the turn. Your trailer to the quarter is finale finest they're off the quarter 29 and one now driving from the pocket miss fussy smith right on her heels is bibbity bobbity boo miss fussy smith takes command bibbity bobbity boo quickly up to challenge on the outside lake hills ivy a length in behind those two racing in third sister luck is on the move for morgan spicy mohawk racing along the inside in fifth up on the outside with cover is tenderhearted the inside, it's Lake Hills Alexis. Finale's finest is on the move. Four in, three out. They're off the half. 58 and two. They race around the far turn. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Leads the way on the outside. Sister Luck being raided by Morgan. Miss Fussy Smith is right there in third. Lake Hills Ivy. On the inside, racing in fourth. Tender hearted racing in fifth. Finale's finest. Spicy Mohawk. Lake Hills Alexis. About eight lengths off the top with a quarter of a mile to go. Three quarters, 129. They're in the stretch. Bibbidi bobbidi boo under attack on the outside. Here's Sister Luck. It's Sister Luck on the outside. Bibbidi bobbidi boo fighting back. Moving up third is Tender Hearted. Morgan going for his fourth on the card. Sister Luck in the final 16th leads. On the inside, Miss Fussy Smith. Sister Luck giving Morgan his fourth. On the card, close for a second, Miss Fussy Smith and Tender Hearted, 157-2. Kennedy clan, sluggish at the three quarters, as I said, going into the race and closed very, very fast. He's been racing against some very top-notch horses at this level, currently on the board at 8-5. to five. Top of the stretch, field of nine, lining up for the start. Picking up speed. Here they come. They're off. Good start with four horses. Going for the lead in between them. It's Gissom Joe on the inside. Al Kaline. Far outside moving up for position is Kennedy Clan. Al Kaline comes through. Now the inside takes command into the first turn of length. Kissam Joe racing in second. Kennedy Clan with a good early spot racing in third on the inside. In fourth is Benevolent Viking anticipating. Is away in fifth. A length back to Dean McGee and Black Eyed Pete. Then another length to Falcon Royal High Lonesome and Diddley. They're off the opening quarter. A quick 27 and 2. Al Kaline sets the tone here. It's Al Kaline a length. Kissam Joe, the big horse, right in behind second. 
Benevolent Viking the favorite, three lengths off the top in third as they race for the half. Benevolent Viking saves ground along the inside, moving up. Now with cover is anticipating. They're off the half, 57 and one. Al Kaline continues to lead. On the outside, here comes Benevolent Viking. Kennedy Clan gains second on the inside, racing in third. Zandy Miller and Kissam Joe, three eighths to go. A race around the turn, LK Line leads on the outside, Kennedy Clan inching it closer second. Kissam Joe racing in third, anticipating is on the move in fourth. Now they're in the stretch, LK Line looking to go all the way. Leads a length, Kennedy Clan has to do a little bit more. Three quarters, 127 and two. Al K Line under a drive. Here's anticipating a mid stretch. Anticipating to the top, far outside, moving up. Black Eyed Pete now shaking loose and closing on the inside. Falcon Royal, a 16th out. Black Eyed Pete, here's Falcon Royal. Falcon Royal here, pulling off the upset, 17 to one. A photo for place and show between Black Eyed Pete and Anticipating 157 flat.